good kitten internet. Starting right back where we left off, although different week. Um, there's an earthquake deep below us. Something is coming up from through the earth. Hmm. Oh, can't get my lower voice. Something is coming up. Mm. <clears throat> oh well. Something's coming up through the earth. I almost forgot about the other devil. Do you mean Xeon? Now, this scared the crap out of me as a kid, by the way. Uh -oh. It's not the face. It's the whole hulking body with massive rippling muscles everywhere that look like it's just somebody that's been pumped with liquid in under their skin. It's really freaking creepy, even to me now. This doesn't look promising. Eek. Yeah, Shining Force 2 is not very good when it comes to actually giving women agency at all. Oh no. And. Xeon. Womp. You destroyed my minions! Xeon. <clears throat> you resisted me! I. I never! <clears throat> Bowie, we had better run and return later. Uh, Sir Astral, we can't. Why not? Uh, Princess Celis fainted when she saw Xeon. See, I really don't understand the in-game reasoning why we couldn't just pick up Princess Celis and cast Egress. What? Oh my. Um, the reason why I don't understand the in-game reasoning is that we could still cast Egress from this battle. I did bring water ahead of time. Although, my bug's actually empty. I need to grab more from my bottle here. Um, did grab water ahead of time, so I knew that the Xeon voice wouldn't bother me too much. And now we're surrounded by devils. Bowie, believe in your sword and the jewel. We must fight Xeon now. We don't even have the force sword. But whatever. Let's go. Hmm. So, final boss battle. So, let's go ahead and take a look at things before I egress out of this battle. And I'll explain why in a moment. But, um, first off, Pyrohydras. They're Hydras with higher attack. Cool. Um, we also have Arc Demons, which have Bolt 3 and higher attack. And more MP. Bolt 3 hurts, if you remember right. And we don't have the equivalent healing spell, which sucks. Uh, Devil Griffins, I believe those are from the last battle, I think. I mean, it's been a week, sorry. You notice, though, we have these. These are not Prism Flowers, they're Xeon Guards. Look at the stats on this. It has 170 attack. It has 100 attack more than some of our archers, I think. Uh, no. Just 100 attack more than Rick. It has 130 hit points, 150 MP, actually has reasonably high agility, decent defense. What the heck? The best part is none of their stats actually matter. They're prism flowers, which means that they fire the prism flower beam. which does the exact same amount of damage. Whatever. Um, we do have an unfortunate healer right here with two healing reins on the healer. So if the battle goes badly, what I think the game's trying to let you do is kill the blue shaman, take a healing rein. Because to the best of my knowledge, enemies do not use items. Otherwise, this blue shaman would be nasty because of full heal across all of the enemies. Yeah, that's nuts. But as far as I can tell, can't use the healing rain. So if you kill it, you get the healing rain. 
which is good. This is the battle that we would use a healing rain on. The master horseman, another Xeon guard over here, another demon master, and then we have Xeon, who we actually finally get to see his hit points. It's 500. So take a look at his hit point bar. It's gray. Gray? I thought it was supposed to be black. I wonder if that's an emulation glitch. Anyway, he doesn't have any M magic, so his MP is kind of useless. He has Demon Breath instead. He has the higher level version of Demon Breath, so his Demon Breath hurts a lot harder. His attack is nuts, but notice his movement. It's zero. He's stuck there. So as long as we don't have anybody standing within his range, which if I remember right, his range is three, Xeon can't do jack squat. No regeneration, no nothing. Xeon's a really weak final boss in my mind. Um, we have definitely encountered bosses that are harder. It's just that Xeon had gobs of hit points, that's all. Anyway, what we're going to do is egress, because there's something that I didn't grab earlier, and I want to. Oh yeah, and Xeon goes twice, just like every other boss at this point in the game. And I'm going to cut to here, the fairy battle stage. This time we're actually going to do it though. Uh, and the reason being is that there's actually something here that we need. Well, not needs a strong word. Something that we can get is a better word for it. So in this stage, there is a hidden item. This hidden item is uh, here, if I remember right. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's there. And you can't normally get it in the US version of the game because you can't search in battle. We can, however, search. Um, all I'm going to really do is try to grab the item and actually fight this battle for once. You haven't actually seen me fight this battle before, and I rarely ever do it. I forgot to boost. <laughs> oh well. We're high enough level where there's very little that's actually going to bother us here. But it's not zero. I don't remember all of the enemies in this battle though. And I'm absolutely going to try to level up our healers because um, I want Aura 3 badly. So a lot of what I'm going to be doing is moving Bowie up as far up as I can so I can grab that chest. So the object of this battle is to kill everything, right? There's only one enemy on the battle, but enemies spawn. And what you're going to, ooh, that's actually a lesser demon. Hmm. And what we're actually going to need to do is make sure, oh, well, there's actually somebody standing there, that we stand on those spots, because otherwise that will keep spawning every turn. A waste of magic, but eh, don't want to deal with them. Everybody's going to be getting one MP from all of the enemies here, so I'm not too concerned. Yeah, Mist Demons are actually almost challenging. There's still going to be one MP for everybody because they're low level, but you know. Bloop. Still 51 damage. Yeah, take one MP and that's one of my lower level characters. Again, I am going to take advantage and try to level up my Vicar as much as possible. Really, I don't care as much about Rick because his magic's basically at the end of the chain. No, he still needs heal four. That's right. All right, it was further up, right? No, it's just further over. Okay.
It's also a maze in here because there are certain spots that you can't travel through. This is going to be a quick battle, by the way. Even with the spawns. A dark soldier appeared. A dark madam appeared. A harpy appeared. Another mist demon appeared. And another lesser demon. See what I mean by they'll just continually spawn. Just thwack them. Really? They dodge even when they're that low level. Come on. Just kill the Dark Soldier, thank you. Again, everybody's just going to get one XP. This is not for XP purposes. Ah, uh, my housemate has returned. And I don't just mean boo. Road. Nah, I'm not gonna do that. I'll do that with Rick. Thwap. Wow, I can't... Uh, that's right. Rick only has 70... Rick has the lowest attack of the group. I keep forgetting. Anyway. It's up here. I think it's here. Where is it? There? No. Where is that thing? Maybe I'm in the wrong spot? I don't think I am. And I definitely have the patch on where I can search in battle. there for now, I guess. Hmm. I ring. Go kill the heartbeat, please. Zip. 54 damage. Not bad. Kill the Dark Madam because that would be annoying. Okay. Ah. Oh, damn it. There was an enemy there. Lesser Demon. Orc Lord, Mist Demon, Dark Madam, Harpy, Mist Demon, Lesser Demon. Jaha, don't miss this time. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, Jaha's attack is 93. It's better than most of my melee characters. Give me kill. Exactly its maximum hit points in one hit. Nice.
Hmm. Where is this item? Or is it actually removed from the US version of the game? It might be. So when I found it before, I was playing the Japanese version of the game. You didn't kill it. Uh. Well, I guess it's actually not here. Drat. Well, I might as well just finish this. You recorded 11 minutes, 45 seconds. Congratulations, you made it! Come back again, see ya! That's all that does, normally. All right, so now that I know that's not actually going to do anything, let's go ahead and exit and pause again. So on my way back, I ended up encountering a random encounter because I'm trying to search for all the mithril locations and I found something interesting that backs my theory. So this bow rider is the same type of bow rider that's toward the end of the game. The Cerberus is significantly, it's the same attack and isn't the same as the end of the game. This Dragon Newt was definitely not here before because it especially doesn't match the Lesser Demon that absolutely was. Also, I don't remember the Lesser Demon actually having boost, but they don't use boost. Uh, this Dark Sniper definitely doesn't match, given that it has half the attack of that um, Bow Knight. And this Dark Gunner here? Yeah. So this is another example of the random encounters can get randomly messed up scenario. I'm just going to reload. I'm not actually going to fight these enemies, because that will take too much time. Anyway, I just wanted to point out that, yeah, the game is still a little on the messed up side. But this is, I, I should mention, this is the same in normal Shining Force 2. This is not actually a part of the mod. So yeah, I actually can't get through here without entering this random encounter. But I wanted to mention that Road just got Aura 3. See? Aura 3, right here. Yay! Anyway, I'm just fighting my way through the encounter because, dang it, that missing piece of Mithril is bothering me. Turns out this battle doesn't have a boss, so I have to actually kill every single enemy. But I'm doing a fairly good job at it at this point. I split my force up because I felt like it. Uh, my healers have been healing themselves or others just because I want them to actually get XP. And most of the enemies are really easy. I mean, I all of these enemies are enemies that I get one XP from. So it's not like there's a huge difference there. It's just, you know, trying, having fun. Because it's been a while since I've been able to do crazy stuff like this. I think I'm down to three enemies left? Oops, forgot to heal. Oh. All right. Throw Janet out as bait. Move Bowie back so Bowie can actually get healed. Yeah, Bowie actually got hit pretty hard because Bowie. Ugh. Devil soldiers, remember them. Ah, uh, classic. Anyway, I'm pausing again. And found it. It was actually the last myth roll in the game that I missed. Uh, I was in Sheila's dojo. So when we first arrived back on Grand's... I completely forgot about it. I'm not plan I'm making a mithril weapon out of it or anything. It was just bothering me. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and egress back. Mm, let's check out deals first, just in case. Um, there's a town over here. Deals? Nothing new. Right. Okay. Let's go ahead and egress back. Because I don't feel like going through the maze again, and that's why I made sure I didn't. Oops. Uh, 
why I made sure that I didn't um, talk to any priest. Right, let's go with insane. Helps if I actually increase volume again. All right. Let's go back and go fight Xeon. See what I mean by it doesn't make any sense is why I could just run away from that fight. Logically, I shouldn't be able to egress out of there. All right. Oh, um, last thing I wanted to mention, um, Rick actually got heal four. Uh, looks like he got at 29. So Rick is only missing two spells left, it's Apollo two and Bolt four. Both of those are very high level spells, so that's not too surprising. Uh, Road here is now missing Aura four and that's it. Also a high level spell. Luke's not missing anything. May doesn't have magic, Tyrion doesn't have magic. Randolph doesn't have magic, Slade doesn't have magic, Janet doesn't have magic, Kiwi's not missing anything and isn't for quite some time, Chester has no magic, Bowie is missing nothing at this point, and Jaha is only missing Bolt 4. Speaking of Bolt, oh wait, oh wait, first, maybe I should pray, let's see. So what it is is that I have to make sure I'm out of formation for the Arc Demons because that hurts. Oh, that's not. Let's try that again. Because I no longer care about XP. At the same time, it's probably not a bad idea to boost. Although Road could boost, but then I'd be hitting fewer people. Road is slow. Okay. Now, I mean, boost four is still not that much damage anymore. It's only like 30, yeah, 32. But hey, I'm actually getting XP from this. This is what I meant before by this is actually a battle in the game that you can grind for quite some time if you really wanted to. I could just take, almost take out the Demon Master. That's not the worst idea, except that nobody would be around for backup. That's not worth it. I could take out the Pyrohydra, though. Not a bad idea. Although a lot of other characters can take out the Pyrohydra. Is there anybody else I can go after? Actually, that's not true. I can take out the Demon Master with a bolt. Well, I wouldn't take it out, but I'd be heavily injuring the Demon Master and somebody else can actually take them out. to death. Because this is actually still in range. Probably a terrible idea. I'm not really paying attention to strategy right now. Oh, and yes, you did see correctly that that Xeon Guard is technically capable of moving. They don't, though. Uh, I think the AI script for them is just broken. Which makes sense. Um, rumble. 
So I guess I should probably start talking about what I'm planning on doing after all of this. So, um, no, I am not going to fight that way. I'm just going to stay there. Um, so I would like to actually, um, oh, belching out flames. That's actually significant damage on Slade because Slade has low hit points. Um, I want to write the randomizer, and I'm actually thinking about potentially recording that. Um, I've never recorded myself coding or scripting of any variety. Um, most likely what I would end up doing is mostly doing a fast-forward recording and maybe have some, like, narration-style things. I'll probably talk while I'm doing things and then uh, talk over my own narration type of thing. That's, it's an idea. I don't know if anybody would even be interested in it. Yep, this is what I was afraid of. One-shotted. Because of a crit. Rumble. Power Hydra versus Janet? Ow. I hate how everything's such a glass cannon at the end of the game. Yeah, you're down, going down. 64 damage. 1 XP. Not everything's actually giving XP, but a lot of things will. Pyro Hydra, are you going to get snipped? Nope. Or cut off, I should say. HP 2, MP 1, Attack 1, Defense 2, Agility 1. So much MP for that ninja. Uh, is there anybody even left hurt? Eh, you're down five. Might as well. It's just a heal one, and I will regenerate that before it matters. A little risky for Bowie to attack, but I figured that somebody else would end up going first. Good healing on road. Or a three. But more importantly, 37 hit points. It's the same as heal three. Just a larger area of effect and costs a lot more MP. So my plan is to basically take these goobers out, then go back around and take on Xeon. The reason why I'm doing it that way is simple, because I don't know if I can actually take it otherwise. That should be a good taunt. Yep. Ah, bolt three. Luckily I have aura three now, so I'm less concerned about bolt three. So glad there weren't any bosses with Bolt 3. Although it would be really interesting to randomize the bosses too. So that's something I was talking about uh, on Facebook with Peter earlier, was the idea of maybe I should look into randomizing bosses too. Not, hey look, Xeon I would probably keep the same, just because otherwise that's hard to deal with. Yeah, Jaha can't reach anything. Who needs healing the most? It's Slade. Because he got critically hit with that spell. Stoop. No more Pyrohydra.
on the Archdemon. Archdemon, Archdemon. Oh. Ooh, at least attack's going up again. And defense up, too, is always nice. Um, who is left injured? Randolph is a little injured. Always a little injured. Nah, I can't reach the Archdemon. Or a two on self. That will hit, hit both of them. See, I'm actually using healing for healing purposes for once. I know. It's shocking. You're probably dead. Yep. No attack increase. Uh. So if I remember right, Xeon guards give XP up to like level 40 or something like that, and Xeon himself give, always gives XP. So if you wanted to grind, you could. I don't know why you would bother at this point, to be honest. Because, um, why? Anyway, once I take on this Xeon guard, that means that these front two rows are clear. It's just the back row with that one, and that makes things a little easier. Mess of hit points. So we're getting into that situation that I've talked about before of with boost, Jaha's agility breaks 128, which means that Jaha's agility forces him to get two actions per round at a really low initiative instead of one action a round. So it kind of looks like Jaha's doing next to nothing. It is a known glitch of the game when your stats get too high. And Jaha's stats are definitely too high now for boost. See, normally, the character with boost isn't one with stupid high agility. Just heal Luke. Speaking of Luke. Oh, uh, this isn't the worst idea. I believe Xeon guards are actually being cut off. I think they have boss style of things. But I'm not actually sure. Yeah, the Xeon Guard's not even attacking. I swear it's just a broken script. Down to five hit points. Yeah, Janet's a good one to finish off the guard. Bonk. Six. Defense plus three. Nice, nice, very nice, very nice. Archdemon is almost in range of Blasty Blasty. Nope. Finally, I have Demon Laser. Yeah, see, it still only does 12. I ended up hitting one of their own anyway. Ugh. Wait, oh yeah, that one, okay. It's like, wait, this one's not in line with that. No, it's this one. All of that to hit Slade. Which, to be fair, Slade has low hit points. That's not the worst plan. Can't quite get there. I'm just going to stand on high defense terrain. Taunt them out a bit. Uh, Kiwi. 
I need you to heal up Janet. Your movement six or seven? Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Because I don't mind Jaha getting bolted. I don't want him to get biffed in the face. Although Jaha actually has decent defense, doesn't he? 80? Yeah. Oh, higher, most likely. Um, Rick, you're just going to go, like, here. Hi. Thought you would like to say hi. And a reminder that I can biff you regardless of where you're at. Rude, I need to be careful with because his defense is snot. Uh, literally, he's just wearing snot instead of armor. You hit two of your own allies to hit my Master Monk. Cool. How about you hit three of your own allies next? Yep, that's what I was expecting to have happen. I mean, think about how much damage I just took. Wait, what? He has slow on attack. I never knew that. Anyway, um, what I was saying was think about how much damage I just took and I'm standing on high defense terrain and Randolph is normally the best defense in force or among the best. I'm gonna assume I'm taking out the Arc Demon before... Ooh, level up, nice. Attack, defense, agility. Um, I'm gonna assume that I'm taking out the Arch Demon before I get a chance to do anything else. Might not be the greatest of assumptions. Especially when they dodge like that. That's not a good sign. Eh, just heal one yourself. Oh, I created the Archdemon. One XP. So Archdemons are too high level or too low level for Jaha. Good to know. Not really, it doesn't really matter at this point. Only do a heal three, unfortunately. But it should help quite a bit. Glass cannons everywhere. Maybe I should have nicknamed this Glass Cannon Force instead of Archer Force 2. Okay. Regrouping toward the middle for my, what's basically gonna be final push. how fast I'm doing these battles, by the way. I mean, I dilly-dallied around quite a bit at the start of this video. Uh, we didn't start until, what, 20 minutes in, maybe? Okay, I really have to be careful with Bowie because of how squishy he is. I just said I had to be careful with Bowie. 88 damage on Bowie. From a single attack from the lowest attack lowest attack power enemy in this entire battle. I mean, seriously, 128 attack, I think. Yeah, even the Shaman has higher attack at 129. Oh no, Demon Masters have lower. <sighs> um, actually, hold on. Nah, Rick can heal four, it's fine. Nobody's injured. Ba -ba -ba -ba. 
So yeah, um, would you all actually be interested in watching me if I did a recording of, um, whatchamacallit, um, uh, me scripting out the actual randomizer? I don't know if anybody would care. 5, HP 2, MP 1, Attack 1, Defense 1, Agility 1. Yeah, you're down 52 still. You get a full heal. And I'm moving Bowie the hell out of the way the moment he gets to go. That's fine. For now. I'm actually concerned about the fact that there's two minion masters there. In fact, what's your movement? Six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, yeah, you definitely can't reach. Then that's fine. If I move there, Slade is going to get hit back. Guaranteed. And Slade's lower on hit points right now, so I don't want to do that. May, on the other hand, isn't. Can I attack Slade? That's fine. Slade should have enough defense. Yeah. Only got hit by 25 as opposed to 88 or whatever it was. Ugh. Okay. I have to retreat with Randolph, unfortunately. Slow expired. That's good. Let someone else have a chance. Oh, I should have boosted. Look at how much MP I am burning through on characters like Kiwi. It's ridiculous. Ah, uh, nah, you're not that far down anymore. Oh, I probably should have done it to S S Slade now that I think about it. You could have beat May. Yep, that's a good plan because now the other one can actually cast. Or the other one just sits there and does nothing. You know, that's an option too. I think this is actually safe. Thump. is that he doesn't actually have anything other than aura for healing. Such a waste of MP. Luckily he regenerates, but still. Yep, I'm going to bring Slade back. I don't want another death. I'll put Janet there. May is coming back. Randolph can just eat. Devour. My housemate is cooking. So yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to look at um, Jaha's agility, how that's increased even further, and you will understand why this is a problem. So, oh, Jaha's agility is only 125. That shouldn't be a problem.
going after Tyron, that's fine. He can take one magic hit, and only one. Just like the entire rest of the force, other than, like, Kiwi. Yeah, I can attack back. That's safe, I think. Ooh, two attacks. Nice. Good job, Tyron. Got a staff is distorted. My last use of it. That's fine, though. Level 30. Finish off another Demon Master. Or I can finish off this Pyrohydra. I think that's a better plan. And it's going to finish off the Horseman. Weird how they're not attacking. Ah, uh, you don't have Holy Thunder in your inventory. I thought you did. Which is the character that has the Holy Thunder, then? Ah, it's May. Okay. Might as well use it. Holy Thunder! 31. Really, those items are only useful on archers. I really don't understand why they're in the game normally, because they're garbage items, and Shining Force 2 does not treat archers very well. Okay, that might not have been a good idea. What? We saw that Bow Knight, who only had one fewer attack than the Blue Shaman attack Bowie. Did Bowie get critted? I don't remember that happening, but it's possible. Just seeing who's injured. Okay, so it's just Tyrin. That'll get Tyrin most of the way back up. Luke... Deal with the shaman, please. Oh. Ooh, second attack. Much better. Ah, <sighs> this line. is substantially less dumb, though. Snip. Yep, I'm just gonna finish you off. Level up. Nice. Good ol' heat axe. This is not gonna do much of anything, but hey, I've got something. Nine damage. Five damage. Remember what those that Blaze 2 actually did something? That's silly. Yeah, I know. It's only 12 damage. I don't care anymore. You're also hit that poor Pyrohydra. It's been damaged so much. I've only hit it once. Ooh, belching out flames. That actually hurts. <sighs> it's 
It's unfortunate I never got Bolt 4. Ah, annoying. That's still a safe spot. Anybody significantly injured? No. Thought it was a safe spot. Is it time to do dumb things? I think it might be time to do dumb things. That's what Xeon looks like, by the way. Still kind of creepy, but nowhere near as creepy as the big muscly guy behind that door. So I would just be dead if I were to attack with Bowie. That's the horrible part about this being Glass Court. Plus Cannon Force 2. So that I can't use Bowie. It sucks. Sucker. I'm going to get hit no matter what I do. So I'm just going to assume that there's going to be some Aura 3 action going on. That is the problem. Demon Breath is nasty. 44 damage, area of effect. Large area of effect, I should say. And of course, Slade is gonna be taking an extra 12, which sucks. became level 26. Good, you're going to need it, because you're standing directly in front of a boss. Of the final boss. <sighs> Double flames? Really? I didn't think that was... <laughs> thought it was random. Maybe it's not. More freeze four. We have green in sight. <laughs> Actually gonna run out of MP for once. I mean, true, Kiwi's not one of the ones that regenerate, but Kiwi also has 104 max MP right now. Luke. Once one stabbings are busy, handle the other stabbings. Rick. Um wait, where is my other Oh, Rhodes here? Yeah, Rhodes there, okay. Herp-a-derp. 
Okay. I mean, I could just use the Goddess Staff again, which it will break, but... I'd rather wait on that. Um... Get Apollo... Or Bolt 3. Or a Heal 4. Um... I think Apollo does more damage than Blast. Let's find out. Twenty-five. No, Blast does more. Yeah, thirty-three. And Bolt three does like thirty-three also, right? No, oh, twenty-eight. Okay. So yeah, Blast four is actually my highest damaging spell on Ugh, that's so weird. On Rick. Okay, Pyrohydrate, you need to die before I die. Thank you. You leveled up. That's Yep, you're attacking Randolph. Chomp. Chomp. Yeah, Xeon almost always does double attacks, which is the problem. So no matter who I feed into the machine, they're going to die. On the plus side, they would have actually taken out a lot more of them by doing Demon Breath. Because unfortunately, Road hadn't gone yet. You're injured, you're injured, you're not, you are. I'm actually better off targeting myself here. Yeah, Xan would have killed three people. Yep, I'm aware, I'm gonna get lasered. There's not much I can do about that one. I would love to use Katon, but I can't because I'm gonna die. Yep. Okay. I need to kill Xeon fast or I need to move back and start recovering hit points. I'm thinking I'm going to move back and start recovering hit points. Jaha is actually fine standing there still. Jaha, you can bring the mound into yellow at least. Um, heal ones are about all I've got left. CM guard, stabs. Ooh, lots of good stat increases. And Tyrin and um, Rode are both gone. No, Rode's alive. Tyrin's dead. Okay. Well, that could have been worse. Rick, you need to move the hell out of the way. And start healing. Xeon guards down. We only have Xeon remaining. We're right at about an hour or two. Uh, Archer Force is so terrible for fighting Xeon. Yep. Jaha's being targeted. Jaha has gobs of hit points. I'm not too concerned about that one. If only, you know, Demon Breath actually cost MP. Okay. Just going to sit back, be away from everybody, and slowly heal up. Just heal. Healing water. <laughs> Recovered 103 hit points. Wow, 23 XP for a heal. That's pretty good. 
I guess it does have an effect for um, how many hit points you actually heal. Interesting. I always thought it did. Yeah, Xeon can't do anything at that range. No, oh, no, that's not what I wanted you to do. Oh, well. We have a lot of people to heal. Just spreading out a little bit. Everybody needs healing. And have some people heal themselves, though. Why do you think I bought all the healing items? Yeah, Kiwi is done being able to heal people outside of using healing items. I could fairy tear, but that's only 20 MP. And I would rather fairy tear on somebody who actually needs it rather than, well, this. I can use a healing drop or a healing water, though. I really wish I had some healing rain. Uh, let's see. Who needs healing the most? Uh, Janet needs gobs of healing. Yeah, maybe I'll just heal Janet with a healing water. This is why I have them. So if you can't tell, I'm one of those people in RPGs, uh, players of RPGs that save all of their special items until the end of the game, except that I've been trying to not do that as much. Luke, heal yourself. Okay, who actually still needs good amounts of healing? Bowie. May. Slade. HP 1, or attack 1, defense 3. Well, Janet now has much higher defense than she did before. Unfortunately, I can't really pull that off because Bowie would die so damn fast. And that has too short of a range, unfortunately. And so does that. Better to at least survive another hit. Maybe not much more than one other hit, but you know. We need to take it out. We see red! Everybody after him. Janet's probably dead? Nope, alive. Good. Nope, dead. That's the double attack is the problem. Nothing will survive that double attack. Oh, this thing is gonna be difficult. I can blast one. And I'm not in position to be able to go up to melee. You're almost dead. Oh, you are dead. Xeon was defeated! See, 49 XP on my highest level character. Is that you? Lemon, what happened? King... King Galem? I don't know what to say. Actually, I'm not sure who's saying that one. I'm gonna go with, 
I don't know what to say. I can't see very well. Am I dying? I don't want to die. Lemon, tell me why. Poor King Galem, you were possessed by a devil. A devil? I'm sorry, a devil? I don't understand. Are you Ellis, Princess of Grand Seal? Yes. I have not seen you for a while. Let me see your face. Can you see me now? King Galem? Hurt! King Galem grabbed Ellis's arms. What are you doing? King Galem! You're standing? Ha ha ha! Galem! Nope. I'm not Galem, you fools! <clears throat> Zeon! No, you died! Never! You don't know anything about me! I can't be killed by the sword! <clears throat> All you can do is weaken me! Yes, Matrilla told us to weaken him. I should have remembered that before Ellis was captured. Because everybody in this game has the idiot ball. You, you fiend! Stop! Do you want me to kill Ellis? Scoundrel! We have to save her! <clears throat> Bowie! Phoenix! Come here! Well, Bowie, what should we do? Quickly! My time is short, but I can still do her! Get over here! <clears throat> we have no choice. But we nods helplessly. That's for right now. Now, Phoenix! Take the jewel of evil from Bowie! Uh, but we, we kind of can't remove that. Jump! Do it! But, um, okay, I'll try. Peter tugs at the jewel. Nope, let me try this. Peter removed the jewel from Bowie's neck. So Peter is in fact capable of removing the jewel. Do you remember way, way back what phoenixes are? Oh my. What shall I do with it? Put it in front of me! Okay. Peter put the jewel on the ground. Angler one! Finally, I have it back! <clears throat> Zian picks up the jewel. Zian starts rapidly regaining power. Oh, I feel my power is returning! Zion is reviving. We have to stop him. How? Medulla! Vonkalon! Vonkanon! Tell me! Ah, uh, uh, Andrew! I will have fully revived in a few minutes! I revived fully, but whatever. <clears throat> you all think you did a good job, Alice. You may take a rest now. A rest? Why? <laughs> a black cloud envelops Alice. Oh. I'm oh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> Princess. And you too, Lemon. Oh, I'm burning. <clears throat> that is spiral fire. It burns even vampires. So yes, vampires in this world cannot be normally burned by fire, apparently, even though Blaze works just fine on Lemon. <coughs> Should have grabbed more water. No! Pam. Smack. But we slapped the jewel out of Zeon's hand. So basically, um, Astral and Peter were the distraction. Out. Darn you, Bowie! Yes, darn you. Funk. Oh. 
Bowie is stunned. That's what you get. Mm. Blink. Bonk. Groovy. I really, that, it's just a horrible, tra I don't even know what the real translation is, but I know just how horrible that is. <clears throat> Lemon. What? Whoa. Lemon, leave! No! <clears throat> King Gollum, please stop. Get away! I'll go, but I'll take you with me to another dimension. <gasps> and Bowie once more dispels the fire. Remember, right now, Bowie only has the Jewel of Light on him. King Gallum. Oh, in the you can't still be alive. <clears throat> oh, my powers are fading. Here's the jewel. My king, come with me. Oh, it is terrible. And Lemon literally drags Zeon back to hell. <clears throat> Lemon's taken Zeon away. How did you know you were unconscious, silly Peter? It's over. But what a tragic ending. Bowie, is he okay? <laughs> Bowie, Zeon was taken away by Lemon. Oh, is she, uh, the Princess Ellis okay? <clears throat> Only time we get to hear this music in the game. Princess. Peter shakes her wildly because, you know, that's what you do with somebody who's been knocked unconscious. Alice doesn't respond. Yeah, the glitch. They shouldn't have had her portrait. It should have just been narrator speaking. And yes, narrator speaking. Narrator is actually a character if you didn't notice. It's going to become a lot more obvious shortly. Sir Astral, is she dead? I don't think so. Let me see her. Mm -hmm. No, she's cold, but she's still breathing. Don't understand. She's in a coma. Remember her? Goddess Metula? Hello, Astral. Bowie and Peter, you did very well. Machula, I knew you would come! We've been watching. Wait, we? I don't see anybody else. <laughs> come on, Peter. You know who I mean. Vulcanon? Yes, he helped you many times. Wait, when? You doubt me? How about Lemon? God Vulcanon protected him from the fire. Really? But he said he would forsake the people of the Earth. <laughs> he said that to deceive the devils. This game has an unreliable narrator. 
he had joined you at that time, Xeon would have come to Parmesia. The entire continent might have been destroyed. And if Vulcanon had joined you, you would have leaned on him, wouldn't you? The Jewel of Light was made by him, wasn't it? It protected Lemon, right? So, yeah. Vulcanon has actually been possessing Bowie, basically. You have a very smart astral. I have to go now. I need the Jewel of Light. Matula took the Jewel of Light from Bowie. Now, keep in mind, Peter was Vulcanon's representative, which means that it required divine force in order to remove the jewels from Bowie's neck. One removed by Vulcanon, one removed by Matula. And I need the Jewel of Evil. Bloop. Matula took the Jewel of Evil. I have to steal Zeon before he regains his power. You had better leave now. Ark Valley will be destroyed. Yep, this entire area is just getting obliterated. One more thing. Yes. How do we wake Ellis up? Well, she has been poisoned. When the poison leaves her body, her face will turn pink. Then she will awaken. If she's still sleeping, she'll need a kiss from her true love. Because, you know, why not throw in a non-consent scenario? <sighs> this is one of the things I really don't like about Shining Force 2 as an adult. Uh, to be fair, it was a little squicky to me even when I was playing this originally. The kiss will awaken her. When will the poison leave? I have no idea. Depends on her physical strength. It may take a few months, or a few years. Now, I must go. Good luck. Hmm, she's gone. A few years? Sir Ashel, come on! Jula told us to leave. Oh, yes, uh, let's get out of here. Oh, wait, you carry Princess Ellis. Herc! Oops. She's stealing the tower! Hurry! Bowie, run! I have no control, by the way. All I'm doing is, like, going through the text boxes. Two years have passed since Matula resealed Xeon. Now, is it true? Did Ellis turn face turn pink? We're back at the start of the game again. With our entire force. The good news is, everybody's alive. So, I should record in my spreadsheet everybody's abilities. I'm going to pause this and unpause it so you don't have to watch this, because uh, this is going to take me a bit. And unpause, there we go. Uh, now we have the stats. Heading down. This looks like original Grand Seal, too. I don't know why, because Grand uh, the valley is supposed to be destroyed. So shouldn't this be in Parmesia? This is the part I don't quite understand. Bowie, did you hear? Princess face turned pink. Ah, uh, Bowie, I'm so happy. I heard Princess Ellis is going to waken today. Yuck, that tastes disgusting. Why did you eat, drink the soapy water, Bowie? Seriously. I did not mean to investigate that twice. But yeah, we're back in regular... Yeah, Grand Seal's now the same as before. So I think what this means is that they rebuilt Grand Seal by planting a bunch of trees in their current location. I really don't understand this. I know it's just using the same map uh, tile structure as... Oh, wait, you will kiss? I don't like you anymore. Ah... <sighs> Um, yeah, it's just one of those I don't quite understand. Gallum is making a statue of Lemon as a memorial. We can finally open this treasure chest that was at the start of the game that we couldn't get at, and it's Medical Orb. Oh, no, it's empty. That's right. Wait, wait. Sir Ashtol told me not to let you go out today. 
You have to be here. So yeah, we actually cannot leave the town, if I remember right. Yeah. We're basically stuck here. And if I remember right, because we're in town, we actually can't cast egress. Yeah, nothing happens. Which is normal if you cast in town, so that's not abnormal. I heard a rumor. Are you going to kiss her? Shucks, I wish I was young as you. I envy you. I'm an old woman now. Nobody kisses me anymore. You're wrong! I'll kiss you. Oh my. A little jail when they were selling people from Parmesia before. Astral's old. Oh, no, this is where Kiwi was, that's right. The most important character of the forest, Kiwi. Kiwi or Jaha, I'm not actually sure which one is more important. Chester better not be the one who kisses her. If he kisses her, he'll have my hoof prints on his rump. Yeah, we're not going in there right now. Notice there's no priest. That's the way they made it where you can't save the game at this point. And yes, this recording is going to run long. No castle theme anymore. We have a lot of guests today. What? I'm trying to remember if I have to go talk to people here. She's no longer poisoned, but she's still asleep. Sir Ashel called us here. Who's gonna kiss her? I'll do anything for Princess Alice. Hope Sir Ashel chooses me. I don't think it's gonna be me, because I'm a centaur. Who will it be? Does Sir Ashel know? I know somebody must kiss her. Who will it be? What will I do if it's... Yeah! Don't look at me! Morning, Bowie. I'm oh, sorry. Morning, Bowie. Are you ready to go to the castle? No. You said no! I don't remember if there's anything I can even do at the castle right now. Earthquake, got a ship, Mastari. It's time to stand guard. Oh, it's you, Bowie. Yeah, just let me sleep. The deep dark well. Very cool. The treasure chests from the treasury from before. So yeah, it's just the original Grand Seal map. It's just my responsibility to guard everybody. Yes, and you're obviously doing such an excellent job. I'll make a delicious meal for them. Go to the larder. I'm splitting firewood. Back hurts. So that's what that's supposed to be. It's supposed to be firewood. Okay. Ying, who are you? Bowie? Oh, I wouldn't have screamed if it was you. <laughs> Still rude, but she also doesn't have a door. <laughs> I don't know if going in there will trigger plot or not. This is the East Tower. I'm on watch. I'm watching the basement of the East Tower. Does so that make sense? What a view. Parmesia is beautiful. See, this indicates that they're back in Parmesia, but why would they have built the exact same city? I don't get it. See, and they made sure that Zinc was there. Rude's crazy, but he, uh, sorry. Road is crazy, but he. Oh, what was the voice I used for Zinc? Road is crazy, but he is the greatest. He is living his dream of continuous adventure. Bowie, will you join us? Two years since that battle. Hope Lemon's okay. Bowie, how are you? I received an invitation for today's festivities. I'm happy to say that everyone looks well. Grand Seal's beautiful. Chester told me about it, but it's better than I had pictured. Oh, I can go around. Hello, Bowie. You look well. The caravan's working well. I found some more ruins. <laughs> uh, 
I think that's supposed to be Chaz. But we have a glitch with portraits right now. But you're, now you're older, but age doesn't matter. Yeah, I think Ellis is supposed to be 22 or 23, and Bowie's 24 now. Pinkback Lun told me to say hello to you. He should see this beautiful castle. Sir Ashel invited Peter and I. It's hard to believe there was ever a threat of evil. Hi, Bowie! I'm serving Vulcan on again. Got an invitation to a wedding party. Who's getting married? Why is she still sleeping? Astral said he knew. Can I actually go this way? No. This west tower leads to the ancient tower. The ancient tower is a sacred place where only the king can go. But that would mean that we're back on Grands again. And Ark Valley was destroyed. I think they just forgot about that and they were being lazy at the end of the game. Like if they needed to rush production or something. That's normally Princess Alice's bedroom. But apparently Princess Alice gave bedroom over to... Or um, the king gave the bedroom over to Princess Alice. Bowie! I'm waiting for Sir Astral. Bowie, will you go see him? Okay, so I do actually have to trick her plot. That way. Yes. Now, let's go see the king. Everybody goes. I have no control. King Grandseal, Bowie is here. I know you just talked to him earlier, but now he's officially here. Please explain what's happening. Yes, sir. Listen up. It took two years, but the princess has finally recovered from the poison. But she's still sleeping. We've decided to take Matula's advice and have somebody assault her. With Matula, you mean someone gets a kisser? Notice who is shuddering there. Yes, we feel the time's right. And we need to decide which of you will kiss Ellis. We don't have to decide, it's Bowie. Luke, don't you agree? Haha, <laughs> yes, Peter. I always thought Bowie was the best choice. It's almost as though he's one of the very few humans in the party. Are you sure? Anybody disagree? Nobody, as he looks directly at Sarah. I understand what my friends are saying, but I love her. May I kiss her? Somebody say yes. Again, Sarah's shuddering. Sorry, but I don't think Jaha is the right choice. But he's the most powerful. I understand Jaha, but she's human. A human is the best choice. So there are only, let's see. Um, so obviously Sir Astral and the King are human. In this picture, Chaz is human, I think. I'm not entirely sure if Chaz is supposed to be human or elven, but I think the official guide says human. Bowie's human. Lemon, who's not here, is human. Um, Sheila's human. Rhodes human. Nobody else is supposed to be human. Bowie's a human. They'll make it such a cute couple. But Ellis has no choice in the matter. Admittedly, Ellis did actually show signs that she was interested in Bowie way, way back, but uh, this is so... Uh, Bowie's a good lad with the matter of a manner of a knight. I think he's the best choice. Sarah? What? Sarah? What do you think? I... Uh, me? Well... I'm worried about her, but I... I... 
Yeah, that's a good choice. Can we make her happy? <laughs> Does she love Bowie? I didn't know that. It was pretty damn obvious. Stop. I will go and comfort her. This right here, this sequence of... Kazin, I'll go with you! Oh, come on. She needs someone like me. That sequence right there... is a spin-off game called Shining Wisdom. Um, it's very badly translated into English because... Uh, uh, Working Designs actually did the translation, and they didn't realize that it was supposed to be a direct reference to Shining Force 2, so they didn't even name the characters correctly. Like, you can tell that it's suppo one's supposed to be the other if you put them side by side type of thing, but that's about it. Um, so, Kazin and Sarah are characters in Shining Wisdom as well. Uh, they're not quite the only characters in a different Shining game. Um, the Guiding game has some characters in common between... Two and Gaiden. I already mentioned Adai is one of them. Um, Bowie's father is actually the main character, if I remember right. And there was somebody else, too. Was it Road? Was it... I don't remember. There was one other character in Shining Force 2 that's actually in common. Might have been Zink. Huh. They remind me of when I was young. Road, were you ever... Were you young ones? Hey, be quiet, you bucket of bolts. Well, you heard everyone. We think Bowie is the right choice. Kazin will take care of Sarah. Everything went as you expected, huh? Uh, no. You knew that. <laughs> Luke, you're smart. But I didn't know what Sarah or Jaha would do. They forgot to line break there. I didn't want to hurt their feelings. Well, it's kind of inevitable. You're... Yeah. Bowie, I choose you! Throw Pokeball. Now, Bowie, please go awaken her. The minister's waiting for you. Oh, Bowie, I really, really respect you. I have control over Bowie, and you'll notice that I've been blocked off going to anybody else. Yeah, they all basically say the last thing that they said. Other, You were so cool in our adventure two years ago. But we go kiss her. It's okay, I'll find a girl someday. But we say, human, they'll make a cute couple. You're blushing, just be cool. Yeah, remember, because um, Sheila is optional and hitting character, technically. Um, speaking of hidden characters, there's characters missing from here, and not just Lemon because he's dead, or have been dragged into hell, I should say. Nobody actually dies that way. Um, Lemon, Sarah, and Kazin are obviously missing. Uh, who else do we have missing? Um, Kiwi's missing. Because Kiwi's an optional character. Uh, let's see. D -d 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 Randolph's missing. Randolph's not an optional character, so I really don't know why Randolph's missing. Janet's missing. Again, Janet's not an optional character. Uh, Gerholt's missing. Elric's missing. Eric's missing. Karna's missing. Higgins is there. Screech is missing. Tay is missing. Frey is missing. Uh, Tay is actually optional, at least. And technically, only one of these four characters are required. So I can sort of see that one. Uh, Frey is required, though, and is a part of plot. Um, Jaro's required and missing. Guyan's required and missing. Sheila's actually here and not required. Zink is here and required. Chaz is here and required. Lemon is missing for good reason. Claude is a hidden character and not here. Uh, this is going to be by far the longest video, but, you know, I felt as though this should all be one video. Bowie, I really respect you. You've shouldered quite a burden for the kingdom. As a reward, we're forcing somebody that didn't actually demonstrate that she was willing to do this. I'll be happy for you if you rule this kingdom with Princess Alice. So, um, interesting thing. 
even though this is a kingdom, as is traditional for RPGs, but not traditional for medieval kingdoms, um, the line of succession is not going through the firstborn male, because the king only has one child. Bowie, well, we please kiss her. Just, you've been doing this for over half an hour, just go and kiss her already. Zeez. The princess is asleep. The princess is asleep. Will you kiss her? No. <laughs> it's a but thou must situation. And lean. And we even get a little picture that's going to come up now. Bowie kissing the princess. Where are your wings, Bowie? I don't see your wings. Also, why is the princess wearing boot plate? And with big hair, too. I, The big hair, sure. You can go with that design if you want. By the way, I have no control anymore. And credits. So, um... Yeah, I had talked earlier. Um, I'm... I'm planning on working on the randomizer at some point, although it's likely going to be one of those projects that I never actually get a chance to do anything with, because, or I start and then never do anything with, because I do a lot of those, if you can't tell from, like, the um, computing production project, or a few, or um, I still haven't finished all of the Let's Analyze Wild Arms videos, stuff like that. I tend to start and never finish projects, unless if they're things that I'm forcing myself to do, like this game. Um, is that something that people would be interested in watching? Uh, I mean, I'm not going to do a Let's Play series immediately after this one. I'm going to be taking a break for a while. Uh, but I didn't know if people would be interested, willing, anybody would care about such a thing. So again, the idea that I would have is basically I would be scripting at fast forward speed. Because it's this isn't going to be a fast thing and not something that I want to... Like, script quickly or anything. Um, also, we're going to have a couple of portraits that you haven't seen because of glitches in the randomizer. Although they're at the end, I think. Yeah, there's Screech. Um, Taya looks a lot like Princess Alice in my mind. There's Freya. Jaro. Yeah, this is where the portraits started getting screwed up. There's Gyan. Sheila actually has the correct portrait. Zinc. Chaz. Lemon. None of the optional characters. Oh, Claude is there. Created by Sonic Co. So yeah, Team Sonic is actually the makers of this game. Uh, they're also the makers of Beyond the Beyond, although they've changed their name. But we have more. Keep in mind, I still have no control. Walk back. And lead Princess Ellis out. <laughs> hey, look, it's all of my friends, except only like five of them for some reason. Don't know why those five. Finally, you fulfilled my wish. Remember, this is the witch that started the game. Thanks to you, I could escape from this forest. You really that surprised? Have you noticed that I've been doing a very similar look? Because the narrator is Goddess Machula. You enabled me to return to my original form. Someday we'll meet again. I'll never forget you. So yeah, the narrator of Shining Force 2 is the goddess Machula in mortal form. With the two jewels. The end. So yeah, um... What was I saying? Um, yeah. I... First off, if you want to... I mean, if... Basically, me covering how I'm coding things and explaining things and so on is interesting to anybody ever. 
I'll probably, I might do a few videos on that. It's going to take me a while to finish that project. Um, I can go through how I do code and so on. Um, again, I'll be doing fast forwarding, so uh, you won't be watching me real time. That would take for freaking ever. Uh, so this is probably like 10 to 20 hours of coding. It's just an offhanded guess. Um, also, what game should I play next? Again, I'm not going to immediately launch into another game. I am, in fact, going to take a break for a while. Uh, I may end up doing a couple of one-shot type things. I might finally actually record a video for FTL that actually has audio. Peter has wanted to see something like that for a while, and I'm kind of in the mood to play FTL anyway. Um, I mean, personally, I've been playing Chandler. It's the old Magic... Excuse me, Magic the Gathering video game from 1996, 1997. Only I'm playing a modified version that has updates for Magic the Gathering cards up to 2006. So um, it's a broken mess, but I could record that. I would probably just start a new game at that point because I'm pretty close to the end of the game in my current run. Um, what else? I haven't really been playing much else. I do have Borderlands 3 that I haven't touched. So if I wanted to try playing a game that I've never played before, that might not be a terrible plan. Um, while I wouldn't be able to play, uh, talk and play too much at the same time because it's an action-based game and it's not something I can pause easily like my magic or anything like that, maybe that might be useful. Um, what else? So yeah, it basically boils down to... So eventually I'm going to be playing Wild Arms 2. I don't know if that's going to be my next game or not, though. I'm thinking that it might not be a bad idea to throw in some type of shorter action action-ish RPG game, a la something along the lines of Might and Magic, and I don't want to play Might and Magic 9, so maybe I should. Like, Might and Magic 9 heavily modded, where it's, you know, a game, instead of pretending to be a game. I've only actually played maybe about an hour or two of Might and Magic 9 before I rage quit. And the game was so horribly buggy that if I would have played five more minutes, I would have gotten stuck in an infinite loop anyway. So it didn't matter. Um, what else? Huh. What else could I play? Well. Oh, wait. There's more. I'll talk to you tomorrow, Internet. Bye.